very good chance the Democrats are going to lose the House to a large extent, more or less irrelevant at this point, based upon what can get done. Joe Manchin, I think we're going to see a, um, a stripped down Bill Back Better bill. Some people think that it might be uh, more effective anyways to do a um, dedicated, a narrower set of things to do and do them correctly, as opposed to the sort of like interim stripped down version that um, the 1.75 version that's up for debate we'll talk about that in the future um joe manchin really doesn't want the expanded earned income tax credit which has been incredibly successful in uh, keeping almost i think four million kids out of poverty helping americans um chuck schumer today sent out a letter saying that they were really going to uh, that he indicating that they were pushing for a carve out of the filibuster for voting uh, rules, or enhancing the uh, Voting Rights Act or reestablishing it in some fashion. So the House is probably um, unlikely to be kept by the Democrats in the fall. It's 11 months away. It's a little bit early to make that assessment, but um, that's more than likely. The real question is going to be, who retains the Senate? The best thing I can say about the Biden administration is that they've been very aggressive about uh, lifetime appointments for judges. The numbers that they've put on the bench, I think, are larger than any president since Ronald Reagan. And I think uh, they're going to get even more aggressive over the next five or six months. Dick Durbin, I think, is not going to um, have uh, hold blue slips in the same uh, sort of sanctity that uh, Patrick Leahy did. So far, it's all been circuit and district judges, mostly from blue states. Mostly from blue states because um, Republicans will obstruct. But not if the uh, Judiciary Committee decides to just ignore blue strips like the Republicans did when they were in control of the Senate. There are basically 10 seats at play in the fall for control of the Senate. This is going to be really important in terms of, at least in terms of judges and in terms of um, maintaining some control over government. Um, who knows what Joe Biden's going to do going forward in terms of executive actions once the Build Back Better bill is in the rearview mirror? I wouldn't count on a lot, but stranger things have probably happened. But here are the 10 states to begin to, to pay attention to for the Senate races. Pennsylvania, you've got Republican Senator uh, Pat Toomey is uh, retiring. There's a couple of people running on the uh, Democratic side for... Um, for the Senate nomination. We'll go through all that over the years, but I uh, just wanted to give you a heads up on what's going on with this. Pennsylvania, Georgia, Warnock is running for re-election. He had a uh, short stint because he had replaced, uh, was it, um, uh, Leffler? Yeah, but, yeah, who was replacing Isaacson? No, uh, no, uh, Sessions. A Arizona, Mark Kelly, is up for re-election. He again was also a replacement, right? Yeah, for uh, two weeks Yeah. Uh, Wisconsin, Ron Johnson is up for re-election, even though he said that he would self-impose term limit. Um, in Nevada, Cortez Ma Ma Masto is up for re-election. She's a Democrat. In North Carolina, Burr has resigned. So that's an open seat or will resign in Ohio. Same situation. Republican Portman resigning in New Hampshire. Maggie Hassan has got to um, defend her seat. Democrat in Florida. Marco Rubio is being challenged probably by Demings at this point. We'll see. 
in Missouri, Roy Blunt is uh, resigning. Unlikely opportunity for pickup there, unless that guy Greitens, who is the governor, right? Is he still the governor or is he resigned now, right? He's resigned in uh, disgrace. Um, if he runs, there's a chance. So those are the 10... Those are the 10 seats that are in play, and Democrats obviously need to control five of those. So there are two, well, four Democrats who are defending their seats. And the rest are Republicans. So that's what's basically going to go down in 2010. We will be talking about that more in depth as the year goes on, but I figured just uh, teeing up 2022, you should know about that.